the jackass crew have been called the elder statesmen of self-inflicted harm. But time catches up with all of us. So now that Johnny Knoxville and company have reached middle age, is a fifth jackass movie even physically possible for them? Back in the 90s, Johnny Knoxville wasn't yet the star we know today. Much like one of his influences, writer Hunter S. Thompson, Knoxville was up for anything and everything, including testing self-defense equipment on himself for Big Brother magazine. His risk-taking didn't go unnoticed, and before long, the magazine was gaining attention from other like-minded daredevils, including Steve-O. Soon enough, the likes of Chris Pontius and Jason Weeman Acuna came on board, bolstered by behind-the-scenes staff such as Jeff Tremaine and Spike Johns. This ragtag team made quirky videos for the early internet, and it didn't take too long before people took notice. With the prospect of branching out into a television show, a few more talents were added to the ranks, including skater Bam Majera and his buddy Ryan Dunn. This proved to be the final ingredient, and following some network shopping, the crew signed up with MTV. Jackass made his television debut in April 2000 and was a near overnight success. In no time at all, Knoxville went from doing random commercials to make ends meet to posing for the cover of Rolling Stone. The show's success saw them break out into the big screen in 2002 with Jackass the Movie. Three more movies would follow, including 2022's Jackass Forever. Following the box office success of 2010's Jackass 3D, the franchise was fairly dormant for most of the 2010s. The idea of a fourth film never quite went away, though, with many fans still craving more. Sadly, in 2011, cast member Ryan Dunn was killed in a car crash at the age of 34. This was a tremendous loss for the crew, and his death was especially hard on Bam Majera, who had already been struggling with substance abuse issues prior to Dunn's passing. <laughs> it's not right. It's not right. Majera's substance issues returned during the production of Jackass Forever, as Paramount Pictures was hesitant to allow him to appear in the film. These fears were later substantiated when they became a source of conflict between Majera and the film's producers, including Jeff Tremaine, Spike Jonze, and Johnny Knoxville. Majera even went as far as to publicly rant about his treatment on Instagram, alleging he was being treated like an animal by the studio. He also threatened his former friends, resulting in Tremaine slapping Majera with a restraining order. This resulted in Majera being fired from Jackass Forever, and aside from one stunt and a handful of background appearances, he was removed from the film entirely. Aside from the very public breakup with Bam Majera, another issue the Jackass Forever crew had to overcome was a COVID-19 pandemic, which had put Hollywood on an indefinite pause. While most productions simply pumped the brakes until they were allowed to resume, the Jackass crew were given some leeway by Paramount. The studio used the film as an excuse to see what future productions could achieve during the pandemic. This was confirmed by Wee Man during an interview on The Nine Club with Chris Roberts, where he also explained other ways the pandemic affected production. It seems that the team wanted to film stuff on location in some exotic locales. However, due to travel restrictions and the varying nature of COVID-19 testing in different countries, this had to be scrapped. With the arrival of various vaccines, things regarding COVID-19 have become much more manageable than they were at the pandemic's peak. So with that hurdle removed, it'll likely be much easier to film a potential fifth theatrical film, should they decide to pursue it. Jackass Forever really did feel like a changing of the guard for the series, especially when it came to the cast. While most of the original cast was back for another round, this entry also introduced some new blood, predominantly because many of the original crew couldn't push themselves as hard as they used to. The new cast featured Sean Poopy's McInerney, Zach Holmes, Jasper Dolphin, Eric Menaka, and Rachel Wolfson. This means that Jackass Forever saw not only its first black cast members, but its first female cast member as well. Change is never easy for any long-running franchise, but in this instance, the new additions didn't feel forced or reductive in any way. None of them felt out of place, and it even allowed for some fresh reactions to things that perhaps the old cast might have been desensitized to. Jackass has always been a series built off of youthful vigor, so this development makes absolute sense, and could see the franchise continuing even when the OGs are no longer part of the crew. When it comes to the cast of Jackass, you'd be hard-pressed to find a member more dedicated than Steve-O. From swimming with sharks to bungee jumping in an excrement-loaded porta putty, Steve-O is the Jackass crew's indispensable man. However, that doesn't mean it's always been peaches and cream for Steve-O. Both the third and fourth films were especially hard for the self-proclaimed wild boy for different reasons. Jackass 3D was Steve-O's first production after achieving his sobriety something the crew all helped him with. Despite his lifestyle transition, Steve-O was still as gung-ho as ever. When it came to Jackass Forever, though, Steve-O said in an interview with Entertainment Weekly 
that it was kind of a bummer. He went on to explain that this attitude stemmed from seeing what Johnny Knoxville was still subjecting himself to physically at his age. He specifically referred to a stunt that involved Knoxville being charged into by a bull, which resulted in severe brain damage. Steve-O told the outlet, It's not fun to watch Knoxville get hit in the head anymore. So what happened after it hit me? Dude, it's gnarly. As a result, it seems unlikely we'll see Steve-O or possibly any member of the Jackass crew in a fifth feature film. However, we may see them join forces for some other project. Speaking with Cinema Blend in August 2023, the Daredevil explained, I wouldn't be surprised if some kind of project reunited us again, but I wouldn't bet on there being another movie. The Jackass movies have always been a bit of an anomaly, as you wouldn't expect films of their caliber to amass positive buzz from the press. However, with the exception of the first film, all of the main theatrical films have positive Rotten Tomato scores. Jackass Forever stands as a highest-rated entry in the entire series, and it isn't hard to see why. Nick Shager of Esquire described the original cast as elder statesmen of self-inflicted harm, which is an apt description if we've ever heard one. Shager also wrote, In a pandemic era of extreme caution and fear, it's a welcome relief to watch Knoxville and the rest risk life and limb for the sheer hell of it. Many critics seem to share the same sentiment, with Brett Doe's of In Session Films saying, I'm not going to pretend there is some thought-provoking underlying message that wasn't there before, but I certainly did enjoy laughing my ass off with these friends. That ultimately might just be the appeal of these movies, a feeling of reconnecting with something or someone from your past. With Jackass Forever being both a critical and commercial success, many have wondered if Jackass 5 will be happening. Sadly, as of September 2023, very little has been said about a fifth film. Aside from a few scant comments, the Jackass films aren't like other movies, as they don't have a screenplay or even a three-act narrative. As opposed to a plot, the movies are more of an eclectic compilation of crazy stunts and pranks of varying scales. My God! Are you crying? I think he's hurt. Additionally, many of the best moments in the films aren't even planned, with several highlights originating as something thought up on the spot. An example of this would be the Rocky prank from Jackass 3D, wherein Bam Majera would surprise someone with a splash of water and a punch to the head. You can't script or coordinate spontaneity like that, and this is a key factor in the films. If a fifth Jackass movie was announced, we probably wouldn't see a scrap of footage from it for a very long time. However, when and if that day finally comes, you can rest assured that hardcore fans of the series will be waiting with bated breath. Much of the Jackass franchise's DNA stems from Johnny Knoxville. From its humble origins to what it has become, the man is undoubtedly the series' figurehead. Though it might be a head that has been rattled by a few sizable concussions, it's still one that has helped steer the ship since the beginning. Any mentions of a potential fifth entry have been limited, with Knoxville himself providing the closest thing to an update. In an interview with Variety, Knoxville addressed the future of the series, saying, We never said whether it was or wasn't the final film. If we did continue, we would lean on the younger cast more, and the old guys would take a little step back but still be a part of it. There may be another jackass, there may not be. Addressing his own part in a possible Jackass 5, Knoxville went on to add, I would have to step back because my neurologist said I can't have any more concussions. Knoxville is the linchpin of the show, and even if he did have to step back from some of the more physically demanding stunts, it still would be great to see him play a part. After all, Jackass wouldn't be the same without Knoxville's infectious cackling. Right, God help me, I love it. Throughout the Jackass series and movies, we've seen different stunts and pranks that the crew has pulled off. With acts of lewd depravity and rampant insanity, they've elicited both hysterical laughter and visceral disgust in equal measure. We've seen Johnny Knoxville take to the sky on a big red rocket, and Steve-O perform the grossest bungee jump anyone has ever seen. Most of us would flee at the mere thought of attempting acts like this, but the Jackass crew will do it with a smile on their faces. There have also been pranks of varying scales as well, including a limousine packed with a swarm of bees, as well as a comically giant hand to smack people. Needless to say, the creative juices have always been flowing behind the scenes on Jackass, with Jackass Forever bringing us things such as a shot collar game involving a bear and pogo sticks to the nether regions, where can they go from here? With people becoming increasingly desensitized, the crew will need to find creative ways to up the ante. With the prospect of a fifth Jackass film not disappearing anytime soon, we need to consider who would be returning for another round. Or perhaps in less of a hands-on role, Johnny Knoxville would likely return as the maniacal leader spearheading the whole thing. Long-serving cast members including Wee Man, Steve-O, and Chris Pontius have also appeared in all of the theatrical releases so far, so it is hoped they would also sign up for more madness. There is also the ever-loyal supporting cast of Dave England, Preston Lacey, and Danger Aaron, three men who have never had issues going above the call of duty. From being used as human football goals to playing beehive tetherball, they've always thrown themselves headfirst into whatever was needed. 
However, as Jackass Forever showed us, the old guard seems to be passing the torch to a new generation of untrained stunt performers. These fresh faces each have a clear love for the series, many of them having grown up with it in the early 2000s. It seems that as long as there are people bold enough to push themselves to the very limit, then the spirit of Jackass will never die. Whether for a fifth film or for another series, it remains to be seen whether we will see more from our favorite pranksters or not.